Where to start? <laughs> um, you could be receiving some sort of communication, compromise, forgive, work it out. Someone may want to communicate something to you. Someone is still figuring themselves out sexuality someone may have decided what they wanted to do which direction they wanted to go love spell you've been bewitched so someone may want to communicate their feelings someone is expecting something here you could be expecting something a breakthrough someone um, may be expecting you to either accept their um communication or possibly even reject their communication i'm not sure but someone is expecting you could just be expecting some good things open up your heart it'll help you attract more love that came out sideways moving a change of residence moving in with your partner that could be now in your future energy spy someone got their eye on you you were doing your research so someone could be spying on you or you could be doing your research you could be moving, changing residences, buying a home, renting, cohabitating with somebody. Um, this could be someone who wants to communicate with you. So you could be moving in with somebody that wants to communicate with you or someone wants to communicate with you and tell you that they've made a decision. Um, maybe because they know you're getting ready to move and they've been spying on you. Someone's decided that they care. Cancer could be significant, or someone does care about you. So you may have been wondering about someone, someone's sexuality, what they want to do. Um, maybe with someone was going back and forth with, you know, what, which sex they want to be with, or how they want to proceed. They could have a very strong attraction to you. Someone definitely has feelings for you and they want you to open up your heart. Someone wants to provide for you, take care of you. Taurus energy could be significant. Someone could also see you taking care of yourself and providing for you and your family. So someone's been watching you. You've been working hard. Somebody didn't want to grow, possibly grow up. Okay, so somebody could have been acting childish. Maybe somebody didn't want you to grow or change, but it's a little too late. You've already gone through a transformation or a change. Someone was being stubborn with trying to affect your peace with memory and peace. It's like somebody wanted to keep bringing up old shit. They didn't want to grow. They wouldn't let something go. You're trusting in something. You trust in yourself. You're trusting in the divine. Someone, <clears throat> someone hasn't been in communication with you. Okay, maybe you cut off communication or went no contact with somebody because they didn't want to grow up, they didn't want to change. Maybe you knew that they were in their, like, king of wands or queen of wands energy. You know, you couldn't rest dealing with them or being in a relationship with them because you were always wondering what they were doing or if they were being faithful to you. But someone also um, can't rest. They've been stressed out thinking about you. They can't grow. Something isn't growing for them. So if they tried to move on without you, if they know you, if they were connected to you in any sort of way, when you cut off communication with this person or vice versa, it hurt this person and they can't stop thinking about you and they haven't had any rest since maybe they're not communicating with you. Someone could have met with legal representation. Somebody could have met up with a lawyer. And they were smug. So somebody may have obtained legal representation or tried to. And they were really smug. They thought they were going to get something accomplished. Maybe underhandedly. Maybe maybe whether you knew something or not. Wow, well, I guess it's not an evil idea. It's just a regular idea. But there's no good laugh for a regular idea. So someone, someone, ha someone thinks they got it figured out. Okay. Someone thinks they have a good plan, so they could have met up with a legal representation, a lawyer, a paralegal, something like that, <clears throat> and um, they thought maybe you didn't know about it, and they were smug, they thought they had something in the bag. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that, and if not, I would not do that thing, so someone didn't think this through. They didn't realize that what they were doing, it was being idiotic, 
Um, so someone was acting childish, especially, and this could involve a child. So somebody could have, you know, this could be like in a divorce um, or regarding custody or a child that's been coming out a lot lately as a possibility of why someone's motivated to make your life a living hell. <clears throat> if you have children, um, somebody could have been getting ready to take someone to court. It may not have anything to do with children. But there could be some sort of legal issue in this. Can you imagine if I was deranged? So someone had an idea. They're unstable. Okay, this person is mentally unstable. They could be bipolar. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing anyone. I'm just saying someone could have a mental illness because someone's um, not right in the head, okay? Oh, what is that on your face? That a disguise a clown? Okay, so someone's going to look like a clown. Someone looks like a fool. Maybe they could have been trying to hide the fact that they um, set up a court date. Maybe they were trying to make sure that you missed this court date. You couldn't handle my undivided attention. So you, someone could have gotten pissed off because you rejected them or their advances. I would hope this isn't like a real estate thing, like maybe a landlord thing or something where someone came on to you and you rejected them and they made your life a living hell and they were they're trying to get get you kicked out or make your life hell. <clears throat> someone could have been connected to a real estate agency or landlord, something like that. That's the way to go. Instant death, very smart. Something is ending, okay? Um, where you put an end to something very quickly. So if somebody came towards you with some bullshit, something is ended. Okay, so if someone made a report, allegation, um, filed something with the court, something's going to be ending quickly. Ours is amongst the most menacing of sounds. That's why they call it murder and not muck deck. Uh, someone could be getting in trouble for a plot for hire, attempted... Um, an attempted unaliving or someone actually is going to try to unalive someone because you made them look like a clown you made them look like a fool you rejected them what the hell so people don't just move on these days huh you know i really would have appreciated a heads up that you were into dating mothers i would have introduced you to mine so someone could be a mother figure someone could try someone could be trying to unalive a, a mother figure someone who's not suspecting something or expecting something like someone is just really innocent and just like just like i don't know it's like you've been through a lot maybe someone knows about this there could be an investigation going on about someone trying to unalive you. Maybe they took you to court and they failed. Maybe they lost a case or something. Or they kept trying to drag you back into court. And it's like they wanted to ruin you. There could be an unsuspecting parent. Or it could even be a father who's appearing innocent. So like if you're a mother figure... Um, this could be like the father of your child who may have like hired someone to take you out. What the hell, man? You know, <laughs> I haven't used these for a minute. I'm going to jump to my Deadpool cards for a minute. <laughs> Let's see if anything comes out of here. My Guardians of the Galaxy and my Deadpool. <clears throat> So someone was part of a gang or something. Someone someone may have tried to act alone at first and they couldn't get something done. So then they got a group together. Someone had a posse. So someone may not have been able to accomplish. If somebody hired a hitman or something, oh, they could have failed working alone. So they could have gotten a group involved in something. You may have fought back though. You showed your strength. Someone's going to stand up for you. Someone's pissed. Someone, I'm getting like the Hulk energy. I know that's not the Hulk, but I'm getting the Hulk energy. Someone's pissed to find out what someone did to you. Oh, man. 
Maybe this is someone that you saw at the courthouse a lot when your ex was dragging you there constantly. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's pissed. Someone is pissed. Someone wants to defend you. Someone wants to protect you. Someone wants to fight someone's ass. There was a whole group of people. It's like someone tried to do something really dirty to you. They couldn't get it done. So then they had a whole group of people and you had to defend yourself. And you could be a mother figure. Someone could have even had your mother involved in this. If you're not a mother figure. I mean, even if you are someone, you know, it's come out before in the readings where like an ex and a mother figure work together. And then, you know, so we have a masculine and a feminine here. There's a whole family ready to fight. So maybe you and your kids and, you know, maybe your family, um... Someone's feeling protective over you and your family. Someone feels like maybe they owe you something. Maybe they owe you a favor. Maybe you were kind to them. Maybe you did something good for them. Somebody was greedy. Someone just wanted something, whether it was recognition. It's like they had their hand out. And it could even be a married couple and a group, okay? Because in my last reading, I had a married couple that came out, a king or queen of wands, working with your ex. That could be significant too. So if, you know, it could be um, a married couple here that worked with a group of people and someone wants to defend you, um, possibly in your family, because someone just had their hand out and they were expecting some sort of recognition or money. They expected to get some sort of clout or fame. Somebody wanted to be a hero and save the day or... Someone wanted to look like a hero, but they weren't, okay? So somebody wanted to look like a superhero. There's someone who's taking control or directing something. So there could be someone behind the scenes making some sort of calls, and maybe you don't know about it. I just heard you've got friends in high places. This could also be an indication that you're in control, or that you never lost control of a situation. You're in control. You maintained control. I don't know what that means. You, you never lost control? <clears throat> Someone could have been, like, in the military, or had some sort of military training or something, like... You know, somebody could have been a spy. Someone could have been spying on you. It's like they wanted to be a superhero. They wanted to get attention. Maybe they wanted you to look at them as a superhero. What the hell? It's like somebody wanted to come in and save the day, but for what? So did some... Okay, you know those crazy ass... I don't, I don't know how often this happens in real life, but it's like somebody who set up some sort of tragedy to happen where someone would like come and attack you and unalive you and then they would like rush in and save you or something like that. I just feel like someone's been practicing for something. They've been practicing? What the fuck? Now that's weird. It's been a while since I picked up this kind of energy. This is some weird stuff. Somebody was practicing, like staging. There's something significant about a home. You could be looking for a home, a feminine, someone could be watching a home. This could have to do with a property. There's something to do with possibly the staging or the practicing of doing something at a property. There was a masculine here who was nervous and sweating. You ghosted them. So someone was nervous or upset, like anxious, because they got ghosted or ghosted you. And it doesn't have to be a masculine, but someone was nervous after being ghosted. Maybe because you wouldn't let them in or they didn't have a way in. Maybe they didn't know what the inside of your home looked like anymore. 
somebody could have broken in and scoped out your shit, like, where you're at, like, how to get in, someone's been trying, someone could have been lurking around your house, I don't want to make you paranoid, it's not for everybody, hopefully, um, but I guess someone was, like, lurking around, someone was ghosting someone, so, maybe someone that you were in a relationship was supposed to take you out, and they couldn't get it done, so they tried to get a group of people to do it, and they couldn't get it done, I heard you never lost control. It's like they wanted you to freak out, lose control, slack, give up. There's a tower moment coming, though. There's a tower moment coming um, surrounding a property or a home. Someone's a snake. So someone was watching... Someone with dark intentions. They were confused. So someone was confused. They were nervous, sweating. They were confused. Why didn't something work out? Why didn't you call them? Why Why couldn't they be... Something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. So this could be the plan that kind of came out in my last reading. Where it's like something didn't go according to plan. Someone's disguise fell off. Someone looks like a snake. Someone's being revealed for the snake they are. Someone's trying to call the shots for your life with, like, that director card. Someone could be trying to control your life, control you, and they're a snake, and they're bringing a tower moment. They were nervous. Something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. Once again, a plan had to work out a very specific way. Someone's, you know, if this is the kind of person that wears a nice, shiny suit to look nice to everybody else, if this is, like, a religious figure or whatever... Their suit fell off, and they're looking like a, what is that, like, I just heard show tune host, I don't know, like, <sighs> someone is trying to stop you from opening up doors, you were telling the truth about someone, and someone sees you as a treasure, or you were telling the truth about a treasure, this could be about, you know, children, or, you know, just about anything like if you have a spiritual gift or something like that you could have spoken out the truth about a person maybe you saw something about someone and other people didn't want to see it somebody got left out in the wilderness so somebody wanted to stop you from opening up doors and getting anywhere because you they you could have ghosted them after they left you out in the wilderness someone's been watching to see what curveballs they can throw at your way to stop you from getting this treasure or from being seen as a treasure someone wants you homeless someone wants you to be seen as like a bag lady so someone keeps throwing curveballs at your way to make you look like you're like a, a piece of trash that you're just you know homeless that you can't take care of yourself and someone is like keeping you trapped in your home possibly so someone could be keeping you trapped at home or keeping you stuck so that you can't move forward so someone could be sabotaging i said someone was lurking around your home so someone could have been sabotaging you they could be eavesdropping you watching you they could have planted something in your house if they were being sneaky and stealthy and they had some sort of they don't have to have military training but they were acting as if they did you know like secret agent man like that's that's the energy i'm picking up off on that card someone was like pretending to be like secret agent man or they were um previously trained to do something like that once again someone with very dark intentions they were expecting they were waiting and expecting so they were expecting you to get kicked out left out in the cold so that you would have to call them for help or so that they could get something done because if you go back to this person then they have another shot at unaliving you so if somebody paid this person to come towards you to take you out they're still alive so maybe if you had someone pass away and you thought that it was them that hired someone to take you out the person who actually paid someone to unalive you could still be alive interesting Maybe you thought you were free and clear or this energy wasn't going to come back out again. I mean, it hasn't come out for a while. <clears throat> Someone's watching and they think something is funny. There was a partnership. There was a deal of something.
There was a deal made to stop a transformation, stop a change. So there was a backhanded deal made, or there was some sort of deal or partnership that was made to stop you from ascending or from going through a transformation or a change. It's like they wanted to stop a change from happening. This could be you leveling up in your life in general. Like if you were stuck down in poverty and there was a group of these people involved and in my last reading I had that cult secret society bullshit come out. There was a partnership that was made to keep you like down. Like keep you kicked down. Stop you from a sin. Yeah, there's, there's a group that was trying to, that was pulling the strings. So I'm on the right track here. There's a group here that was trying to stop something from changing. And it could be related to a situation, a relationship that you were connected to. And there's strings attached to this relationship. Someone could have, even if they weren't trying to unalive you, maybe they were trying to force you into a relationship. And if they can't have you, no one else can. Someone's deranged. Someone's off the rocker. And they were, they were watching someone without knowing it, or this group was being watched. So this group was either watching um, this couple without them knowing it and pulling the strings. Or someone within this couple, like, or this group was being watched, or the person trying to pull the strings is being watched. Someone is being watched and they don't know it. They don't they don't know they're being watched. Or they think that the, the person that they're watching doesn't know that they're being watched. Maybe you do know if it's you that's being watched. But it could be a group of people here who are trying to pull a string pull strings in a relationship. It's like they're trying to force a union. Okay, so someone was watching someone was in a partnership with you, in a relationship with you, or someone who is in a relationship is watching someone. Or they're being watched. There's a masculine energy here who's juggling a lot, juggling way too much. So this masculine, there could be a masculine here who's attached to somebody else but trying to pull the strings in another relationship, trying to like force you into some shady shit. This person could be connected to a group. Maybe they don't know they're being watched, or maybe they were all watching you. You could have had a shit ton of people watching you, but someone's getting burned. So this masculine that's juggling so much, the deal they made to burn someone, or the deal that someone made to burn another person, they're getting engulfed by this. So someone who partnered up with someone there, it's backfiring on someone here. Whether it's this masculine or this group. <clears throat> Someone's getting burnt here. Ah, that's because someone's turning their back on someone. Someone doesn't want to be partnered up with any want someone anymore. So this is an, a relationship here too. So there's multiple couples here. So that could be the person that they were partnered up with is turning their back on them. So if they were trying to juggle multiple people, multiple relationships, <clears throat> um... Someone's turning their back on this person, and I feel like it's more than one person that's turning their back on whoever this is. Let's, I'm going to get into some tarot here. This is, I want to find out who these people are. So we have a Queen of Cups here in the reverse. And someone's juggling a Queen of Wands. So we have a Queen of Cups in the reverse. We have someone who's juggling a Queen of Wands or a Queen of Wands who's juggling. There's a Queen of Cups who didn't get the offer that they've been waiting for. Balance needs to be restored because there's a queen of wands here who could be juggling a lot of stuff, handling a lot of business, you know what I mean? Someone's keeping it a secret that they didn't get what they wanted. So there's a jealous ass queen of cups here that maybe partnered up with your ex and they're not getting what they wanted out of the deal. 
So if you ghosted someone, left someone in the dirt, this person can't get over you. And if they can't have you, no one else can. But they moved on and they de they're dealing with somebody else here. And there's someone who's jealous. And they're trying to keep it hidden that they didn't get the offer that they, they've been waiting for. And they didn't have a positive outcome. But someone wants to partner up with you. So balance is going to be restored for a queen of wands who's juggling finances or life. You know, be juggling multiple things. There's a permanent ending here. So there's a partnership, a two of cups situation that's permanently over or the coming together of this partnership is going to put a permanent ending to something and bring balance back once and for all to heal. So there's an ending here, a permanent ending that's going to heal a heartbreak. But it could also be... Um, you know, that could also be an upcoming omen of heartbreak for this Queen of Cups um, if this uh, this relationship ended. Because something didn't, something didn't go out the way they thought it was going to. Somebody could have wanted your life so bad, to, you know, that they were willing to do whatever it took to get it. And then once they got it, maybe they didn't like what they got themselves into. Because you've healed while fighting off a lot of conflict. Queen of Wands, man, you're a warrior. You're kicking ass and taking names. So you may have put an end to a Two of Cups situation or called something quits or called something off because you healed and you're busy fighting other shit. So maybe you knew that there was someone who was trying to juggle you and somebody else and you're just like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm healed. I don't do that shit. So you could have put a permanent, you know, ending to a situation, you know, because you're healed, you're focused on healing, and you got other fish to fry, you know what I'm saying? You have conflicts to fight, you're busy, someone didn't want to give you a gift, or somebody didn't want to see, receive a gift, so someone didn't get a positive outcome, they didn't get a wand, maybe someone's masculine parts um, didn't work the way it should have, um, so someone wanted your man and um you know they found out the grass wasn't greener and you know they didn't realize the problems you had with that person when you were with that person i'm not saying all men have that problem i'm just saying there may have been some unexpected problems that they were not seeing um you know they they really thought the grass was greener and they thought that it was going to be a good thing to take what you had but they didn't know about the problems that were going to come along with that so <clears throat> This person could also not have a positive outcome because they took something that didn't belong to them. This Ace of Wands, this was not a gift that was meant for them. So someone could have tried to take something that was meant for a Divine Femme. And we have the star here who um, could have gotten left out in the cold. And they've been in hermit mode. And so, you know, someone walked away. And this could also be the star coming out of the cold because they've been spending time in hermit mode and they chose to walk away from this bullshit but it's like because you walked away someone's wanted to keep you isolated and keep you trapped because you walked away from this bullshit it's like you knew that they were dealing with somebody else or had other shit going on you walking away is a message. Someone's getting a message of concern about you walking away. They lost their opportunity to do something. If you walk away, they don't have access. You're, there's a high priestess here. You're, there's a high priestess and a queen of pentacles. And a tower moment. So there's someone who could be a wealthy feminine energy here. And a high priestess. So you could be a star and a high priestess. Or there could be a queen of pentacles who's a high priestess. And they're about to experience a tower moment. So maybe someone thought just because they had money and they had a few magic tricks up their sleeve, but they didn't know you had divine protection. So it's like the high priestess against the star kind of energy. Because I feel like the star is like the queen of wands. Yeah, so this person was trying to affect your peace. You were already being attacked, and they didn't know you had this divine protection. So there's a queen of pentacles that was in this, a wealthy feminine energy, or someone that thought they were going to gain wealth. So someone may have thought that, um, 
Okay, so you turn someone away. You, someone could have come towards you with a, a, a love offer, and it wasn't a good offer. You knew it was to keep you bound, trapped, or stuck. It wasn't a good offer for you, and they've been trying to disrupt your peace. They could have sent this group of people after you to attack you ever since you rejected this Knight of Cups. And it could be that this Knight of Cups wanted to come towards you even while they were dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, God. And then we have the Queen of Cups here. And a Ten of Swords. So there's an ending to this situation, too. What the hell? So when someone made the decision to, uh, some uh, someone walked away from this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> so this masculine could have walked away from the Queen of Cups. Someone that they were married to. Or there could be a separation in this marriage. But you also have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles going on. Man, someone's a busy bee. Man, someone gets... There's a masculine energy that really was juggling way too much shit. Hoes in different area codes. This person was married and they had like different feminines in different places. Oh god, someone's rushing out some sort of truth here. So maybe after, um... This masculine leaves this Queen of Cups in the dust. You know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. This person could come back towards you <laughs> and try to tell you some shit. Like, oh, you didn't know that this person was doing this, that, and the other. It's like, maybe they're going to rush in and tell you some information or speak a truth. Because there was an imbalance and justice has to be restored. So, I don't know. There's a Queen of Pentacles here that's has a tower moment coming for them there's a queen of cups who could, who could be rushing in to try to bring balance to their to themselves or to life by speaking a truth maybe they don't want to be connected to this masculine if they were involved in some illegal stuff or maybe they don't want to be involved in an attempted unaliving charge because there's a stalemate here where someone is protected there's a stalemate they can't get what they want done because someone is protected but someone also has a decision to make and I feel like this Queen of Cups has a decision to make on whether or not they want to tell you the truth. It's like they want to come rushing in and tell you the truth and help bring balance to a situation. But they could also be afraid of what could happen to them if they speak a truth. Because maybe they know how dark this person is and they don't want to become a target themselves. So the Queen of Pentacles could be some okay, someone who's wealthy. That could be a lawyer. That could be a judge. That could be someone who's in a, a position of authority. So it's like this masculine can have connections in different areas here. Oh, so someone was trying to keep people blinded from the truth. But the Ace of Wands here, there's a big missing piece of the puzzle that's about to be uncovered. Someone is getting awakened. It could be going through an awakening here. Someone's third eye could be getting reactivated or opened up here. Because the cycle of imbalance is over. There's a change, transformation coming with the Six of Cups here. Somebody grew up. Or someone that you've known possibly since childhood. Or someone that's known you for many years. This could be, you know, like, a, it could be a parental or um, a child figure. Someone is getting awakened to someone. And it could be a parental figure or someone who's acting childish, who didn't want to grow up, but yet you did grow up. So someone may be um, seeing the growth that you've had to go through, because there's a big truth. Ace of Swords, too. What the hell? That's sideways. Some sort of truth is being revealed. And someone can't deny the truth anymore. It's like they don't want... To, it's like people don't want to admit the truth, but the suit fell off. They're looking like a clown. So 
someone really abused their power and authority. Someone could have paid someone off in a position of authority to throw a case or, you know, throw representing someone, something. I don't know. I still feel like there's some legal stuff going on. There's someone in the legal system that's connected to this in some sort of way. <clears throat> Someone could be addicted or obsessed with this and bringing balance back to this. If they have a hand in creating this imbalance and they're getting awakened or enlightened to all the shit, you know, that they were lied to about, that they believed, that this group of people did to hurt you, it's like they could be obsessed with bringing you justice. It's like, it's giving me the energy of, like, a detective obsessed with solving a case. That kind of energy. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. And I gotta say, this could also be you obsessed with getting justice and balance back. Because something has been out of balance for way too long. There's gonna be a reason to celebrate, though. There's a Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, so there's a Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could have money coming towards them. An emotional situation regarding a Two of Cups. So someone was obsessed with getting balance for themselves and causing injury to you with the group there's a queen of pentacles here who could have celebrated when a two of cups paid off a judge or a wealthy feminine and they created an emotional situation so someone's being paid off and this could still be going on here because this is in the upright so this this could still be going on there was a lot of talk and gossip going on. There's someone here who's juggling. This masculine energy is juggling. So he threw some money and dick her way and she threw the case. Wow. And someone's rushing in with some sort of truth about a home. They tried to get you kicked out of a home. There's a truth being realized about a home. If this isn't a judge, this is a real estate agent or a landlord situation. This person was paid to make your life hell to get you kicked out, but you're going to hear someone speaking the truth about a house. There was a decision that was made based on gossip and slander and lies. So this group of people here attacked you based on bullshit that your ex was telling the community about you that was not true. And this person had enough money and resources to pay people off, including... A fairly well-off feminine energy that didn't necessarily need the money. That's why I'm feeling like he threw in the dick to seal the deal. And I think that's just what this person does. You know, secret agent man likes to um, do whatever it takes to get a yes. And I feel like she accepted this offer and it's created a very emotional situation regarding a house. This is different. Different, but not different. <clears throat> Told you those triangles were turning into squares and octagons and everything else. So it's like there's a masculine energy here that was dealing with at least three feminines. And this is somebody that you were in a relationship with or at least a two of cups that you were at least dating or, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, and you could have ghosted them. Maybe you knew they were bisexual. Oh, you could be getting some sort of award recognition, maybe because of how well you're juggling something. Someone who's juggling finances could be getting some sort of recognition here. Someone communicated something to take a treasure from someone. So somebody's somebody made some sort of communication to steal something or take something that was valuable to them. And that could even just be your dignity, man. Some It's like somebody didn't want you to have anything. They didn't want you to have any self-worth, any dignity. They wanted you to feel lower than low. And then we have this King of Cups here. So you were in your Queen of Swords energy. You cut them off, okay? 
you know, when um, they were trying to play games with you, and they made a decision to take everything that you hold valuable and dear to you away from you. And this King of Cups is juggling and looking for some sort of recognition. So this person could be someone who is normally respected within the community. Even this person could have a position of authority. They could be a wealthy businessman or a wealthy masculine. Sometimes the King of Cups can have a little bit of money. And someone's rushing in with some sort of truth here. It could even be this person trying to come back to you. I mean, if they went through all this trouble to make your life hell just because you rejected them, I don't know. They could be secretly helping you behind the scenes while they're some... I don't know. So maybe it was another feminine that this person was dealing with that sent this group after you. Maybe it wasn't them, but maybe this masculine knows about it. Because you were being watched by multiple people. Some It's like multiple people were being watched. A group was being watched. Someone was being watched and they didn't know it. So if it wasn't the masculine that sent this group towards you, it was one of the other hoes or, or feminines that this masculine was dealing with. Yeah, you left this person out in the cold, okay? So the Queen of Swords, you left someone out in the cold... And they tried to make your life a living hell by making sure that you never had anything valuable again. But, while they were busy hurting you, it's like these other people jumped on the bandwagon. But I feel like the masculine paid someone. Somebody got paid. And it, maybe it was this wealthy woman who paid someone to do it. Maybe this wealthy woman paid a group of people to do this to you. I don't know. Man. However this resonates, I don't know. I, there's a there's a lot going on here. You need to speak the truth in the reverse. Someone was set up in the reverse. Someone is acting immature. They need to act their age. And you will find out soon why. You will find out why soon. So someone needs to speak the truth about the setup. Someone knows the truth. Someone's acting childish. They need to grow the fuck up. So there's some law-pulling judges that could be getting involved in this. And I told you there was an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend involved in this. And someone had a soul connection. They will tell you some important information. And someone knows the truth. And these are all in the reverse. So there's someone you had a soulmate connection with that tried to set you up. They're not, they're not speaking the truth. They need to speak the truth. Someone, someone knows the truth here. You could be suffering in silence. Someone's suffering in silence. Something could be happening in the next three to six months because someone's desperate. There's a religious figure here who's desperate. <clears throat> but their suit's falling off. God, so they're suffer there's a religious figure here who's suffering in silence because you won't be with them or you rejected them. There's competition that you don't know about. So there could be competition that this religious figure doesn't know about. Someone was anxious. So someone was anxious because they need to speak the truth and they know about a setup and they're not saying anything. They acted alone. Don't give up on your dreams. So you may have acted alone. You may have had to defend yourself alone. Or somebody who was in competition with you that you don't even know is like a catalyst for all this crazy shit. Like I said, I feel like someone, okay, so there's an ex here that wanted to, you know, make your life a living hell, but, and this person could be a religious figure. But there's also someone that, it's like... This group of people, like there's a female that got paid off to do something or paid people off to do this, like some, maybe they got pissed off to find out about the competition and they had this group of people ready to take out the competition on their behalf. I don't know, don't give up on your dreams though, even if you have to act alone, even if you're doing it alone, don't give up on your dreams. Someone's trying to compete with you and you don't know anything about it. 
Because you're just minding your business, trying to live life. You know, dodging the next curveball some asshole's going to throw your way. Your sibling, your brother or sister, they need to heal their childhood wounds. There's something significant about a contract or a deal or marriage. So someone ended up getting into a marriage with someone that needs to heal some childhood wounds. This could be your sibling that's involved in this group, this religious group. This could be a family affair that you're a family, you're part of this family, but you don't know shit about what's going on. Because you could have been the sacrifice for your whole entire fucking family. You know how they go around sacrificing children and shit. You could have been the child sacrifice, even if you're an adult. You, you could have been the sacrifice. They want to put your ass on a spit. And I'm not joking, like, this is sick shit, man. Oh, someone was married, they said they never cheated on them, that they lied. Maybe your sibling knows about some shit. So your sibling could know the person that you're in a marriage with or that you're married, someone that you were married to needs to heal their childhood wounds. You could have an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend involved in this. You could have a spouse, their ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, you know how the bisexual card came out. Um, and it could even be a female who maybe they were dealing, you know, maybe the queen of wands was hooking up with the queen of pentacles and maybe that was a thing. So maybe the queen of wands got rid of this cheating ass masculine and decided to go a different route with their sexuality and everyone lost their shit. You know, like there's just so much to this. Like, <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is, um, this one's a toughie, man. This one's hard to unravel. This one's, you have family involved in this. You have an ex spouse or an ex boyfriend or girlfriend, spouse, sibling. June is significant. E, F, G, and H is significant. So something significant about June and those initials E, F, G, and H. So that could be someone's birthday or a month something happened. Holy shit, we're 47 minutes into this. I just, oh my god, this was a, this is a mess. So there could have been a feminine who ghosted a masculine for another feminine and they just were not having that shit. Somebody, somebody thought something was all fun and games, but they could be getting ready to kick the bucket because they don't have a positive outcome. Someone's broke. Go for broke. Someone's going all in with this shit. And they did something impatiently, so they put all their eggs in one basket for all intents and purposes. Someone may want you to hold your tongue and keep your mouth shut. They don't want you talking about what happened, what they've been doing. This group doesn't want to be exposed. Someone's in positions of authority. They don't want their names being brought out. They wanted you to bite a bullet. They wanted you to take the fall for something. They didn't want you to come out of a dark place. The dark before the dawn. They didn't want you to have a Hail Mary pass. They don't have a Hail Mary pass. There's no Hail Mary pass for this person who's bad to the bone. Because they're actually as dull as dishwater. And they shouldn't have burned their bridges. And this is like the king or queen of wands energy in the reverse. So, you know, this player ho energy that was going around. They don't have a prayer. There's nothing that can save them from what their karma is. They're going to kick the bucket. They're going to pass away. And it could have to do with their extracurricular activities. Um, it could just be because they're in bad health. I literally have, you know, incurable STD came up on here. That's on top of the deck here. And then big man on campus. So, you know, the king and queen of wands energy, you know, player ho. Someone could have caught an incurable STD and now they can't undo something. <sighs> You got the whole world against you. Yeah, karma's a bitch, because you're honorable, okay? So they tried to... They brought karma upon themselves by coming after someone who was respectable and held in high honor. They really tried to ruin you in, like, every way possible. Someone's missing you? Of course they are. But if they can't have you, no one else will. Like, that's some crazy shit now, isn't it? 
someone's intrigued and they want to know more about you, you would someone accepts something, it is what it is, and someone's trying to get creative and think outside the box. So someone's intrigued and want to know more about what's going on, about how you just accept things for as they are, and like you just you don't go out for revenge, you're not spiteful, you just let it go and move on. And someone's trying to get creative about something or it enhances your creativity like you transmute the energy and turn it into something completely different they want to know how do you do this someone definitely had core so someone that tried to bring you core problems could be expecting some core issues told you it was something related to the court system in this so karma's a bitch for someone who could be in the court system as well if they were paid off to throw a case <clears throat> better late than never someone could be trying to think of creative ways to come towards you as well because they want to know more about you but maybe you're just like eh, you know what i'm i'm taking a break from this bullshit so someone in the court was shady as fuck someone was paid and i feel like it was a feminine energy that was paid with little money and a, a sexual favor or two to throw a case. Whether it was a judge or a lawyer, whatever the case, somebody somebody did something on purpose. You're going to have your moment in the sun. There is a positive outcome for someone who is in the upright. Someone's learning their lessons or you learned yours. Lessons learned. You learn your lessons, you don't repeat mistakes. So I have one foot in the grave, okay, and that's in the reverse here, and it's only a matter of time. Someone that you loved and lost, they didn't want to read between the lines, they didn't read the fine print, they didn't see that they were bringing something upon themselves. There could have been some fine print and some court papers or documentation. Someone could have signed some legal document or a contract, and they didn't read all the terms and conditions, and someone violated in a major way. They violated and then violated some more and thought they were going to get away with it. And what they did was bring a world of hurt upon themselves because they didn't read their own contract. I feel like someone didn't read their own shit. A could be significant person, place, or thing. Someone could have been trying to force someone to sign a contract against their will or under duress. H. Someone's saying, ah, now I see. Yeah, that the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands moment. Why? F. Someone's name could be Faye or Faith. D. I just heard yada yada yada. Seinfeld could be significant. Elaine could be significant. You. Duff Beer, The Simpsons could be significant. I, you and I, someone wants to partner up with you, and I don't know if that's a good thing, if it's an obsessed detective, or if it's your ex. Someone is wanting to win at all costs, W. I'll do one more. And P. Alright, so I have U, I, W, F, D, P, a, H, and Y. I hope this helps. Have a good day.